Hi, I'm Diane. Hi, I'm Jessica, and we hope that you enjoyed making your lantern from last week. This next craft is going to be the last one we do this summer, but we've enjoyed hanging out with you guys. And as always, the crafts and snacks were sponsored by the Friends of the Library, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today we will be making uh, these hangers right here. We're going to be potting a succulent as well as making um, a hanger for them made out of yarn. The materials that are going to be in your bag are going to be some lava rocks, some pumice, soil for, uh, for your succulent, pebbles, a succulent, a um, glass vase, and four, yarn, four threads of yarn. Um, and all of your bags will be labeled so you will know what, um, what's the pumice, what's the soil, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're first going to start off with potting your succulent. What you want to do is you're going to want to grab your pumice bag and that's going to be the first layer um, that you place. So the pumice helps so that your succulent doesn't get um, over water. These rocks will help absorb the, the excess water. So you want to make sure that it's nice and even. Then you're going to put your lava rocks in and the lava rocks help so that no moss grows inside the vase. Again, you just want to make sure that the, the black is covering all of the, of the pumice. Next, you're, wanna, well, you're gonna wanna grab your soil and this is what goes in. And right in the center, uh, you want to make a hole. You can use your fingers or use a spoon. Um, and this is where your succulent is going to go. So I just pushed aside all the soil to the edges of the vase to make an indent. You're going to want to grab your succulent and you want to squish the bottom so that you can pull it out. And you just want to gently, this one has a straggler, take it out. You don't want to pull on the actual succulent because then you'll break it. So you just want to be gentle with it. And so at the bottom, you want to break the roots up a bit or break the dirt so that you can free the roots up a bit so that they can grow into the new soil. have your hole there in the middle and you're just going to place the succulent right in the center you want to push down on it And then with the soil that was already in the vase, you just want to cover the succulent.
there we go. And the final step is pebbles. You just want to put these on the out, on the top, uh, just as a decorative addition. And you want to make sure that the pebbles don't land on top of the succulents because then that will break your succulent. So you have to be careful here. Once you have these pebbles all spread out so that it covers the soil, you are done potting your succulent. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about how to take care of your succulent. So this is a living plant, so you got to make sure that you do water it. Um, you want to add four tablespoons of water into here um, once a week. So if you notice that the soil is still damp, um within the one week you don't want to water it so a good rule of thumb is always um, looking at the soil or touching it with your finger and if it's still damp do not water it these plants do not require a lot of water so always be careful with that also you want to put them in a place where they do get sunlight they don't have to be outside but um, as long as they're getting some sunlight that would be nice and just take care of it, give it love because it is living. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to making the, the hanger. Okay, so with your four strands of yarn, what you're gonna wanna do is um, match them all up on one side so that they're all equal. And then you're gonna wanna fold them in half. So it makes a loop on one end, just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a knot at the top and this is where your hanger is gonna hang from. So we have our loops here and all we're gonna do is wrap it around your fingers and bring the loop here through this opening right here. And now we have something to hang it from. And so you wanna pull on both, both ends. And now to make this knot nice and tight, you're gonna pull on each individual strand. So we're gonna pull on this one. So now that makes your knot nice and clean now. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make, you're gonna wanna separate your strands with um, into, uh, to, uh, into four pairs. So we have a total of eight strands. So you're gonna make two, 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 and two. And you wanna grab strands that are next to each other. So if you see here, these two are right close to each other. You don't want to grab this one with the opposite, with one on the back side. So you don't want to be grabbing these two. So I'm going to use these two. Then these two are next to each other. So we're going to separate that. Then we're going to use these two and these. So now we have four pairs. And you're gonna wanna make your knot about um, 16 inches down. So you can use a ruler or eyeball it. 
this is gonna be how long you want your um, pot to be hanging from whatever you're gonna hang the knot from. So I'm gonna go right about here. We're gonna make our first knot. So this is really simple. You're gonna do what we did earlier. You're gonna grab the, t the yarn, wrap it around your fingers and loop it through. Make sure that you see how the top one is um, tighter than the bottom you want to make sure that these two are together so when you tie your knot make sure you're tight tightening both strands equally so then I'm gonna go back and fix this So now you want to do this exact same knot with all the pairs that you formed. And you want to make it the same length. Okay, so now that you've created your four knots, you're gonna want to create another layer of knots. And to do that, you're going to grab a starting knot and you're going to grab the knot that is right next to it. And to know which one that one is, you're gonna look back up here to the, to the top knot right here. And you're gonna wanna grab the next two that are right next to these. And so now we know it's this knot. So we have our two knots here. And now we're gonna grab the inside strands. So this one has two, this one has two, we're grabbing these two. And you're gonna wanna make your knot three inches down. Again, you can use your ruler or eyeball it. And Now we're gonna move on to the next knot. So we have this one here. You look up here, which one's the one right next to it? So it's gonna be this knot. So once again, the knot, the strand that we haven't worked with, we're gonna use the one right next to it. And we're gonna make the knot right where the other one is. the next one we have this strand so you're gonna grab the one right next to it And the last two are going to connect as well.
So now you can double check that your knots are on the same length um, by just holding up your, your yarn and making sure that all of the knots are the same. So mine are fairly even. If they're not, then just go ahead and undo the knots and just shift your knot. So since mine looks pretty good, what we're gonna do next is we are going to um, check with our vase to see if it actually cr gets cradled in our, um, in our um, yarn. So to check if it fits in the, um, in the rope, I have uh, someone here holding it for me. Um, so you can have someone else hold it for you or you can hang it on a doorknob, anything. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to grab your vase and you're gonna set it in here. Make sure you're holding it. Um, and so these top knots wanna be right at the top edge of your um, vase. And the bottom ones, they wanna be sitting almost right at the edge of the bottom and where it starts to curve. So you don't want them down here. You want them right about there. And so that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm gonna mark right where I'm holding it so that I can make a knot down here. So now that you marked where you have to make your knot, you're just gonna loop the string around your fingers and pull it through the opening. Like that. So we wanna go ahead and check if it fits. So see, if we see here, the knots are at the bottom. We don't want them here. So all we have to do is move this knot further down lower. So I'm just gonna pull um, this knot up and do that with all the other knots. I'm pulling it away from this knot. And see if it fits. See how these knots are sitting right at the edge? That's where you want your knot to be. So now this is a good distance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this back down and we're just gonna pull on each individual rope just so that we can tighten this knot to be secure. Let's check one more time. And it's sitting nice and perfect and we are all done. We hope that you've enjoyed potting your succulent today and making all the other crafts that we've shown you before. We really enjoy spending the summer with you doing crafts. We hope to be back in the fall, so please check out redwoodcity.org for future dates. And once again, all of the crafts and snacks were provided by the Friends of the Library, so thank you very much. And we hope you guys have a wonderful start to the school year, and we'll see you soon. Bye.